Slice and Dice 3.0 is here. I wish he did incremental updates from 2.0 to 3.0 so we could hold us over, but I think this update is huge. So I'm ready for it. This is a new save file. This is completely empty. Um, I'll jump straight into a normal game. I think the tutorial will still be going on. Okay. First thing I notice is that um, we don't have mage and healer anymore. We just have two yellow heroes and two gray heroes. And the orange here is in the middle. I don't think that makes a difference, but um, I, I'm, I'm noticing it, I guess. Uh, okay, let's see. No risk of death. I'm just going to roll for full damage. I see this. Vulnerable's the best thing in the game. It increases damage uh, by one for the rest of the turn. Great. Okay. I may as well block one damage on the scoundrel who's taking the most. Okay. Simple gameplay so far. Did they change anything here? Nope. I do love... I love the little animations that... Uh, oh, whoops. I love the, love the little animations that he's got for uh, different types of attacks. So, like... Here, I'll show. Um, for the axe, it's gonna, like, do the little axe. And for this, it's gonna do the sword. Um, if you notice, the there's an arrow stuck in some of the characters. I just think it's really cool. The flavor of this game is also neat. A whirl... Some AoE damage would be nice. I already have this on Scoundrel, but that's a 1 in 6. I'll take this in case there's, like, um, uh, hordes later. I'd, the hordes will be the death of you in this game if you don't have anything to deal with it. Okay, I see Vulnerable and Cleave. I'll take those two. Cleave and the, the big Cleave are the same here, since there's only three enemies and I can hit the middle one. Again, there's not enough damage for it to be reasonable. I should have taken the one damage side on the buckle that I saw earlier. I'm gonna be vulnerable first, then this. This should give me a kill. I don't want to block the laser. Another new feature that I saw, uh, this little targeting button. Um, you can click this or hover over it, and it'll show you like all of the targeting lines. This is really nice because before you had to kind of like go to each uh, enemy and right click like this, and it would you see that the whole thing pops up or like do this and shows you. It was just really annoying. I I'm very happy about this change. It looks really great. This is the same thing. With Vulnerable, it'll do enough damage, though, so I'll shape it. If I just kill the wolf here, this damage won't matter, so I'm just gonna opt for that. Oh, I got the shield anyways. Let's do this. Two damage, two more damage, and then we'll block. Auto flee, I believe I have turned on. Yep. So, that means if enemies are low enough health compared to me, they're just gonna flee. Uh, it doesn't change anything, I don't believe. It doesn't, like, change rewards or... It's just, it's just taking out, like, you rolling one more time and doing one damage. This... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to end up using this. The left side tends to be something, like, important. See, it's the one damage here, it's the one damage here, it's the pristine shield here. Oh, look at that, it's blinking to show me that it's uh, modified. That's really nice. Um, I'm going to opt for coaster root, I think. This kind of item is really nice because it just stops you from getting, like, dead draws, I guess. Um... I know there's a character that just has like a bunch of health and no sides on their dice, and you can put it on there, and it just, you know it guarantees a, a one a one heal roll, which isn't a very good roll, but it's better than nothing. Um, I'll take the heavy damage on the board. Not enough damage for me to care or to defend. Okay, anything would have been nice though. And I'll cleave right there. Heal's not going to do anything. Nobody's taking any damage yet, so. Any deaths? Okay, Scoundrel. I'll take out the rat if I can. Or I could just take out both. I would like one... Okay, I did not draw another source of damage, but that's fine. I'll do this. Hit the boar. Goblin flees if it's the uh, lowest monster left, so I'm just working on the boar and the rat. Uh, once I kill those two, then I'm good to go. Two deaths. Oh no! Oh god! Okay, is there is there a button to like select? Oh, done rolling. Okay, I'm stupid. Save a hero but from dying while healing. Sure. Death. Easy. Uh, gamble. Oh yeah. Also, I did place through some of the tutorial uh, already, so lots of the tutorial text is going to be skipped here. Warden. Which one am I upgrading? Defender to warden. It's kind of just, like, objectively good, but I really like Gambler. Um, oh, but the, the Vulnerable is so nice. I'd rather keep the Vulnerable here, actually. I think I'm going to take Warden. 
some of the gray heroes are kind of boring. Um, okay, this isn't what I wanted. I'll take this. Uh, come on, give me that vulnerable. Eh, worth a shot. We'll just get all of our damage down. I'll block on Lazy because he's the less health. Poison is so annoying in this game because it just stacks. And since, like, I'm just at a point in the game where I don't have a cleanse, there's just nothing I can do about it. It will just it will just keep damaging me. And that's miserable. So right now I have, like, I have a one-turn timer now to win this fight. And I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I just need to do four damage next turn. But, yeah, right here, without two healing options in, like, my whole squad, there's nothing I can do about this. They will just die. Because even if I, here, let's see, if even if I shield them, yeah, they're still going to die to the poison, two green health. So it's not possible for me to save them unless I just win the fight. First boss. Autumn Leaf. Autumn Leaf is always really nice. The problem is most characters don't have a dice on the right side. Read you've won... Uh, it would save me from that situation I was literally just in. I'll put it on lazy, since he doesn't have anything in those slots. Okay, again, I can just ignore the goblin and focus all into lazy here. What is this? Is this is Warden's dice? Okay, you aren't drawing anything better. Buckle. Yeah, I just want all single damage. This is nice. That means I can look for the two damage on Warden. Vulnerable, very nice. One, two, three. Barely not enough. And he gets the two boosts, so he's going to be doing more damage. Shouldn't matter, since, again, if I just kill him next turn, then the goblin runs away. But, you know. It is what it is. Oh god, so many people are dying. Thank you. I think, just because I'm playing on... Uh, I'm so used to playing on phone, I'm in the habit of, like... Just clicking all of them. I love Rogue. I'm not even going to think about Soldier. I'm just going to take Rogue. Oh, the Vault. Uh, no, I'm taking it. I wish it would give me two orange characters instead. I think the orange character is much more fun. I just changed the resolution of the game. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, I'll put this on Buckle, I guess. This is a more defensive character, so healing rolls will probably be better on it as well. Never seen this enemy before. If an enemy... If I... If an enemy... I target gets five plus shields. I flee. Oh wow, this is really annoying. Okay, who are you targeting? Buckle and Lazy. Uh, I'll leave. I'll constantly reroll Buckle to look for the uh, big shield. But otherwise, I want to take out Snake immediately. Snake is um my nightmare. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna take out this yellow militia immediately. Bye. And take out Snake as well. Good turn. I like this. This is fun. Uh, orange. Okay, so now I'm just going to roll for blocks out. There we go. Done rolling. Oh. Perfect. Wrist blade. Re oh, wow. This is a really good item. Replace blank sides with one damage double use. Having access to double use on a on a tier 3 item is crazy, I feel like. And it's I'm against slate. This is nice. Um, well, lazy has sh bad sides. Clover is funny. There's nothing good on anything, though. Wait, this double use is insane. Uh, I'm going to switch this off here. So that means I get as many double uses as possible. Like, think this is essentially a two damage side on every blank side. And then um, any... Uh, if I still had vulnerable, this is this these would be four damage sides. If I get any, like, plus one to all sides stat, this becomes... A, these become four damage sides again. Like, this is... This is a... A really good... Tier 3 item. Oh, I can zoom? Oh, wow. What what happens when you have, like, 100 items? T3 items are about three times as good as T1 items? Okay. I didn't know that's how the scaling was. Maybe the... Maybe you change the item scaling for this one. But Tier 3 items... Okay, well, they certainly didn't, certainly didn't feel like that in the, uh... Previous version of the game. Um, oh. There's a W for the slate there. Yeah, I'm gonna just turn one for the slate. One, two, poison, cleave, and he's dead next turn. Wow, this is an amazing item. Three times as good? This is like six times as good. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pull all damage. Uh, if once I kill this Slimer, um, 
it's it's uh it's gonna spawn one slimelet, but it'll be dead, so it won't be doing the attack. Summon a slimelet every fifth HP. Okay, this was also changed. Slimers used to always summon two slimelets. That's really hard to say. <laughs> but I guess uh, this does change it. So if you get curses that like increase the health of enemies, this ends up with um two. It, it, instead of reaches ten HP, it would end up with two. Instead of them being set in stone, I guess it scales the difficulty better. Use curse here, a cruel, and two damage there. Cruel doubles the damage on um. Oh, it doesn't just double damage. It's doubles on targets versus hoof or less HP. Uh, you can have shields as cruel, quote-unquote cruel, uh, which means they are double on units that are hoof HP. I think it's really good. Pilgrim. I've never seen this. And I like to keep... I want to keep this, so I'm just going to go with Pilgrim. Okay, so this is safe from death. That's really nice. Self-shield's good. Again, you could put that on the, the lazy double use, and that's really good. The reuse is also even more effective on the double use. This is... I'm synergy right now. Uh, that makes this useless, so I may as well get a one health on here. Okay. Uh, let's see if these bosses stay the same. Same as always, I always... I generally take out Gaitha first, because this huge amount of damage is generally hard to deal with. Although I think that may not be the case for this, uh, this run I've got going right now. Because I should just be able to stun her. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to stun the wolf guy, and then I'm just going to... Yeah, that's way better. Um, I will just tank the damage in the middle. Gaitha's going to die. Wow, so many new sound effects. Or maybe, again, maybe they're old. I just have been playing on mute for ages. Yeah, double use here. Shield. I'll take the poison. Poison's nice. Uh... I think I can go without the cleave shield. I'd look for... Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, let's shield this first. One, two, three. Use this again. Put the poison on the top. There you go. Good sequencing. Yeah, one damage to everything. Oh god, what a problem. A double use! Stun it! Cruel, that should be it. One, two, cool. There we go. Unlock a door. Unlock a door. Beat level eight. Oh, shortcut. Okay. Uh, shortcut's not a mode I'll be playing. Splitting arrows. You see, isn't this just worse than double use? This is one... Ink bottle's really nice as well, but I don't have enough uh, empty sides to make this worth it. Am I, am I just a double use, like, meat writer? Or do I think this item's just really good? Either way, splitting arrows is going to be huge for me here. Since, um, it's a... It's a horde uh, type. I'm going to look for the big damage on Whirl. Wow, everything on Lazy. That sucks. Here's this. Here's this. I'm going to double use. I'll... No. I'll take this. This is fine. I'm just going to do this instead of looking for any shields. Hit the bones. Actually, I'll hit an imp here because it has range, so it won't take the damage. I'll kill a bones here. Rogue hits the imp, so he dies from poison. No. Rogue hits this imp. And then... Yeah, this is fine. And then when I kill this bones, it should uh, collateral the other two. I change the window size again. I need a better way to do this. Hold on, I can see my windows. Oh no, I'm one pixel off. I'm <laughs> I don't care. I think you can see as much of the game as you need to see. Uh... This will cleave, hit these. Uh, I just take this, and this is fine. One, one, two. Nice and easy. Berserker. I love Berserker. And I can keep my double uses. Hooray! Yeah, I, I just like Berserker. I think he's very fun. Uh, Where the hell? Ah, here we go. Militia again. Uh, Oh, I really don't like this. There's no, there's no way I can stop it, though. Unless I can... With these two, I can reach this stun point just by cleaving off a of Militia. Or Slimer. But I don't think it means I'm going to get uh, five shields this turn, then. Yeah, I'm not going to. Oh, stun the Slimer. Shield myself. Hit you. Hit you. Stun this. Uh, okay, I'm running to look for five shields. I'm just going to kill him. 
I feel like I always uh, get myself trapped into a loop where I look for like the special kill or like the funny kill uh, rather than just killing something normally. Uh, I don't need a stun. I would like a reuse here. Okay, it's fine. Berserker, just kill Slimer. This, just kill the Misha. This, just kill this. Uh, poison this and stun it. Perfect turn. Run away. Nice and easy. Pauldron. Oh, cracked. Add sticky to all sides. Cannot be rerolled. Okay, they changed this. So the way this used to like work, like wording wise, was it would just say, uh, "This character's dice cannot be rerolled." Plus one reroll. But now it's a keyword, which can um, synergize with some stuff, right? If you have a uh, chain, or if you have rainbow, rainbow increases the amount of um, uh, pips based on the amount of keywords. And chain is if two dice are used in succession and they have the same keywords, then it gets stronger. So this is pretty good. Do I have any? Yeah, this is a character where I will accept whatever side I get on him. Uh, Whirl, not so much. Rogue would be an anti-synergy. Pilgrim, this has no pips. Oh, wow, he has no pips. That's kind of neat. Uh, Warden, I could also take. Uh, is there anything looking for Pauldron that's good? Three poison. Three poison is nice. But I would rather... I, I'm never going to lock in three poison. I'm constantly you rolling. Okay, I'll take that one. Rock reel on you. Wait. I'm stupid. I thought it was plus one to all sides and add sticky to all sides, but it's just plus one reroll. But yeah, this is fine. Uh, again, I'll accept whatever I roll on him. The double use is not a huge issue to me. Okay, Whirl is just immediately dying. Yeah, this is just four pain. I'll, I'll just slap it on there. Uh, I'm going to add self shield to it so he doesn't take as much damage. Take this. I'll poison the spiker so I don't have to hit him as much. And this is fine for getting some damage. Enemies. Oh, I never knew this. Enemies target randomly, but prefer targets who are not already dying. So I think this is to imply that they don't, like, stack their damage if unnecessary. But I didn't know that. Yeah, so this is four. It has pain and self-shield, so it's just going to four damage and do... Oh, chaos. Use a side with three... Oh, collector. Oh, they changed him. Okay, most of the time here, I'm just going to be saying, hey, they changed this character because I remember them differently. But if you haven't played Slice and Dice, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yep. Six damage in one turn. Oh man, the cleave attack again, really. Oh man, I have to lock in Rogue or he's gonna die. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna just see what stunning this looks like. Okay, yeah, it's not good enough. Um, can't roll this. I'd rather not use this. Who has the... You have the ranged, okay. I'll take this and hope that I hit the ranged one here. This is fine. So I'll do this. Do this. Do this, do this, this dies. And this should kill us. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my god. Not you too. <laughs> Wait, but I have I have this. And that's so like this right here, 10 damage death, I die. But I have cannot die. <sighs> Man, I gotta be trolling. And I'm gonna put the sticky thing on him instead. No, th this being sticky is much higher uh, risk to reward. And this has a bloodlust, which is really nice. Yeah, I'd much rather put it on this guy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Would have been nice to keep War for the Cleave here, but I have enough on Warden. And I think I just have, yeah, like 1 billion flat damage. So I'll take the self shield again so I can avoid the pain on this. Do this. Uh. I'll cleave here. These are going to take cleave damage anyways. Yeah, see? This is going to die regardless. It'll cleave to the other bones. I don't have very much defense in this field since I'm using Warden for cleaves. So this might... What is this? Why does it look like that? Okay, I don't... I'm not a huge fan of that. I can't really see what it's trying to say. <laughs> That's fine, though. Um, we'll take this. Will I be able to make it to the poison this turn if I cleave here? Kill one, kill another. I'd like to stun you. I won't be able to stun you. I don't have enough health. Right, give me... Uh, give me... Okay, this is fine. So we death wish... Well, first, we cleave here. Death wish this guy. Pain this guy. Yeah. <laughs> 
there's no better way to do this, huh? Yeah, this is the right option. I wish I could poison the lich, but it's fine. Oh, save from death. All right, that didn't make any difference. Ah, <laughs> uh, petrify is so annoying. I don't have cleanse either. Oh, and he took away my both my reroll sides. Okay, I mean reuse sides. So, oh, look at that. Bloodlust also has an indicator change. Okay, you know what? I do like the indicator changes. I just don't like um. Oh, I might be able to get to this this turn. I don't. I do like the indicator changes. I just don't like how. Nice two damage here. How specifically the uh. Oh. I don't want to do that. Yes, I do. I don't really get a choice. Now I can poison him. Get this on you. Maximize the damage here. It's gonna summon this. Okay, the stun sucked. I should not have got it. I totally could have just done the lich. Uh, that's fine. Summon two bones. Not so fast. Uh, this is gonna do three regardless. I'll take the cleave. No, I won't take the cleave. I'm gonna look for the two damage. It's just slightly better. Okay, I'll take the poison on the lich as well. That's not a problem. Death, don't care. I wish I rolled a stun. First time I haven't seen the stun. Thanks. Uh, do this. Kill here. Hit him with another poison. It's gonna summon other bones. Uh, hit him with this. Wow, you're not dying. Crazy. Ah, oh, so many, so many bones. This is a weekend, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. Oh wait, yeah, he's not gonna kill himself because I have a thingy for it. Um, if I just kill this bones, then this dies, and I don't have to worry about the weekend. Uh, you have better sides. I guess not. I guess not. Roll, roll me something. Okay, there we go. So now I just, you don't die. Kill this thing. Whoa. Cool sound. And then I get two. Let's see. Double use, man. Ocular amulet. Twisted flex. Change the middle column. Okay, you know what? Maybe it's just because I've been playing Blurst, which is a game mode where you get curses. So it feels like I'm not getting items as much, but I'm already on like, like, yeah, fight 13 out of 20. I'm like already like halfway through the game. So I guess it makes sense for me to getting tier six items. Uh, This isn't useful here. Again, this guy doesn't have any pips. I guess it's ocular, but who would it go on? Nope, all these suck. Give me a random one. Cruel to the two left sides. Very funny here. Um, this is a, just a boss shredder. This does nothing, though. <laughs> um, this already has. You know what? It's my best option. It's uh, if if somebody's below half health and they have forty health, I do twenty damage to them. I suppose that's fine. Very overkill. Uh, I'll take blood blast here since I can hit the troll. I'd love to stun the basilisk. Poison on the troll negates the healing. I'll take more damage. Poison on the troll. This is now bloodlust. Do this. Stun you. Hit you. Hit you. Yeah, I, I want to kill the troll before I get all my sides petrified by from hitting the basilisk. Maybe I shouldn't even hit him with the stuff that I just did. Another four damage pain. Another two damage here. Oh, he can't trip into him. Okay, um, that sucks. I'll take a shield then. Cruel, that should be enough to finish him off. You are useless. Okay, stun you again. <laughs> wow, the, the two out of six stun is really something. Uh, one damage here. Okay, so now I just have to get the rest of my damage. Okay. Uh, this is enough. And he won't kill himself, right? Oh. Oh. Nice. Troll Slayer. Troll Nose. One regen, right? Yeah, start with one regen. Stalwart. Okay. This looks insane. Uh, okay, I'm taking... I'm basically gonna just be taking characters that I've never seen before, so... Stalwart is something that was in the previous game. Um, it does have a cleanse, which I really desperately need. But I think I'm gonna take Stoic, because I really like... This, uh... Uh, this side. And they also changed this. Self-shield is, like, now two combined keywords. Looks like he changed his whole API. Or whatever you would call it. 
Institute right sized. Okay, maybe it's time to give up W's and put in cleave. <laughs> that seems about right. I have three stuns. <laughs> Nobody is doing anything on my watch. Uh, this sucks. I'll use this to kill. The null reduces all damage by one, so I need at least four damage to one-shot him. I'll take the four here. Honestly, I'll just take the rogue. This just avoids all damage. I'll accept that. That's fine. Yeah, and I'll take two damage here. If I can get the reuse self-shield... That he already has self shield. That was pointless. Oh, self doy, self shield on this. One shot the null. Start. Oh, just kill the snake and then rogue. Yep. Very nice turn. What was that? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, the colors on the side um, were kind of weird since it was orange, uh, orange gray gray. So it looked like, yeah, it just looked kind of messed up. We'll do poison. We we'll use the reuse here. Uh, there's better things than the bloodlust here. Okay. There's better things than the bloodlust. Okay, thanks. We'll go for... Big damage. Oh, that that's alright. Back row stuff, huh? So once a call takes damage, they move to the back row, but now that I've hit both of them, they're both in the back row. So, um, go to hell. And then I'll just kill you. Pair of kings, pair, at rampage of minus one. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I okay. So the idea is that I find this our ally cannot die, put it on barbarian, and then barbarian uses ten damage death cruel, rampage. That that, oh that's so fun. Okay, let's see if there's anything I can pair with. So, this requires me to have uh, lots of sides with the same pips as these two. So, if I have, like, Barbarian, I want... Okay, Bloodlust is weird because it's variable. But yeah, so if I play something that has four pips, uh, and then and then I play this one and it has pair on it, it would do eight. But this would also do eight damage to itself. So, I... I've decided this sucks. I'm going to try and do my funny little... Oh my god. Nine damage, death, rampage, cruel... <laughs> it has to hit. It has to hit. It has to hit. I'm gonna fish for it. I have three rerolls. Okay, you are not that. Uh, okay. I can keep this one. I don't need it. I can look for a shield. Um, I'll poison one of the alphas. Nope. Wait, uh, I will stun one of the alphas too. Or maybe the ghost. Come on. Okay. Well, that's so much damage. I'll start working on the sniper. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to kill the ghost. So the ghost has an invulnerable right here. If I, uh, if I take away this health, it becomes invulnerable to damage the rest of the turn. So instead of having to think about that, I'm just going to one-shot it. That makes things easier here. Stun this alpha. Reuse that. Stun this alpha. Cleave. Poison. Stowing's the only one that takes damage from the sniper. Come on, it'll hit. It just has to hit. <sighs> yeah, okay, I just don't like these because they're kind of weird to read. Like, I don't know... I guess it's just five, but it seems... It just feels kind of odd to see. Okay. Show me undying. Undying death. Come on. Undying? Show me... Have I rolled the death side once this entire game? I, I don't think I have. Uh, I'll put this on him so he doesn't die, though. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and kill this alpha. With cruel, not cleave. Cleave cruel. Any other C keywords in this game? Okay. Oh no, he's dying. I need your. I need your help. You, you need to hit the... The only way he could live is if I get the undying. Okay, here. Oh! Hold on. Undying. Rampage. 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 That feels so good. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? Overkill an enemy by 10 plus unlocks an item. Obsidian Edge. Triple the pips of all damage sides. 
It's a tier 17 item. I don't know how you get those. Swap two items on a hero. Oh, like the order. Yeah, so this would make it apply cruel first and then rampage. It doesn't really make a difference, but I guess I'll do it for the tutorial. Assassin. Oh, wait, Valkyrie. Wait, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, and it also has this, so I can just use it. Uh, this is, yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, no, I lose a stun. I lose both my stuns. Tarantulus is kind of annoying. He has the, uh, when he loses this health, it just instantly kills my topmost. But I have Valkyrie for that, so not worried about it. Right here would be a really great time to hit my little combo. Okay, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, go on a fish for it one more time. Yeah, I'll take this, because if, if I suck up the damage from here, he'll just die anyways, and I can just resurrect him with Valkyrie. Okay, that sucks. Uh, I can kill this here, I can kill this here, this... I just done this. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Not a bad turn. I just want to hit my funny combo, though. Man. Oh, this... Three poison and weaken? Oh, man. Sh shucks. <laughs> Yikes. Um, okay, I'll take a poison on the big guy. And I would like to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not even that good here, but... Oh, pow. Pow. Bam. Bam. Uh, and then I'll shield myself for one. Stoic is going to be useless. Uh, this one. Summon three spiders. Not so fast. Got one. Let me see the other one. Got it again. It happened. I can't believe it happened. Boom. You think you're going to kill me? Not so quick. And then... Uh, he dies to poison, but not before he summons the spiders. I have to keep Barbarian alive for like two turns. Or I don't have to. I can just let him die and then res him. Or I could just not do that at all and then just win the fight. I actually don't know how this interaction works. So if I... Yeah. I'll damage from him and then I pain. The pain does go over here. Honestly, this is an okay turn also. I'll just do this. And then I'll put it up here. You die. It, he should run after this. Oh. Man, I just have no health. Not enough. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Cheat death. Win the Tarantulas fight with no dead heroes. First turn cannot die. Look at this little icon. That's it. Everything in this game looks so good. Mirror Musk. Okay. Qatar. A trio to all damage. Trio. Three times. Oh, this is... This is useless to me. <laughs> Three times. Okay. On like a on like a cantrip deck. Okay, a cantrip build. If you have like everyone has a one damage cantrip. And then some of them have trio. It means that the previous dice will always be one. So it'll always have trio up. That's amazing. Mirror Musk. Uh, replace all sides with the hero above base sides. I could make this into another Valkyrie. That's so good, right? Like, instead of ever trying to put up block or anything, or stunning, I just make it so you can't die. Ever. And then I may as well put these on here, just for possible utility, I guess. Oh, demons got changed. What is this? Must be removed by dice damage. Okay. So you can no longer, um, like, just blow them out with spells. Interesting. Don't know if I like that very much. Here's my rescues. Don't care about those. Uh, I'll poison the call because they're kind of annoying. Here's this. Show me my death. No. Okay, that's fine. Um. Yeah, poison the call. Uh, I want to get bloodthirst as high as possible, so I'll do this. Watch this here. No imps being spawned. Good. What is this? Inflict pain. Okay, so this is pain. Uh, I'll remember that. A lot of icon changes. Gonna have to break a lot of muscle memory here. Okay, you're summoning an imp again. Not a fan. Perish. I can go for a higher damage side than this. Huzzah. <laughs> One. Two. Nine damage. Boom. Nine damage. Chaos plus, what's this? 
four keywords. Oh, ranged, cleave, sticky, pain. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have any... Okay, sharp shot. This is really nice. The thing is, I won't really want to be using this because I have this fucking monster card. So I think I'd rather take Brawler here or not at all. Um, Cracked Wheel. It'll stay on Brawler. Uh, this... <sighs> I'm tired. Um... Do I want the cleave? I'd be losing one of these self-shield sides. Is one damage cleave still worth it? I think it is. It's, it's ranged. It's kind of nice. It feels like a straight downgrade, but I have enough like self-shield and damage. And again, I don't need self-shield. I have two Valkyries. Here's one. Oh, I guess this is also an anti-synergy. I don't have any shields for this. So that sucks, but it's okay. Um... Don't need this. Stop rolling me this. I'll take the poison. This is big enough. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, I'll make this slightly bigger. Deal five damage. Deal a bunch of damage. Remove the poison. Or remove the regen. I can do four damage next turn. No sweat. Hopefully the whiz looks for a heal here. Okay, two damage. Okay, this sucks. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I'll take this. <laughs> uh, blood third. Okay. Let's see what this turn could look like. So I'd remove this. I'd bloodlust here, and then I'd eight damage death wish here. Oh, it's just not enough. Okay, I cannot take this hand then. Um, I still take the death wish. I think. There's. Better than this bloodlust. Again, if I hit the death thing. You know what? No, fuck this death wish. I'm looking for undying. One. Hit it. Hit it, baby. No, this is really bad. I'll keep Valkyrie alive. Um, four damage to this is the same. And then I'll do what I can here. Oops. Yeah, I'm just keeping the Valkyries alive, so that means I can hit the resurrect. I really shouldn't die here, but it might suck. Two bones, dude. Oh my god. This is fine. Hit the res, please. Hit the res, please. Not good. Not good at all. You know what I said I shouldn't die here? Maybe I will die here. Oh my god. Hit the res, please. Oh, okay, nice. Up. Keep this guy alive. Okay, Brawler will die. Wait, is this better? This doesn't matter. Uh, I'll put on Stoic. Indecisive. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, look at the little ground taps. Yeah, Brawler's gonna die. I'm gonna look for the Stoic res again. Uh, pleading, begging. I have no form of healing. It would be really nice. If I hit the Death Wish thing on this, it's gonna go crazy. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No. Alright, uh, that's this runs over, right? One, two, yeah. <laughs> hey. It was worth it was worth it. Worth every second. I, I needed it to hit. Uh maybe I could prolong my death. Oh wait, hold on. Yes, I lived. <laughs> There's a chance I win this fight just by rolling this every single time and slowly chipping that chipping away with cantrips. As long as this guy never rolls more bones. Nope. Nope. All right, there we go. Game over. Ah! I wanted my little death death combo to hit, man. Okay, do I get new cool mode shortcut? Oh, cool mode shortcut. Let's give the first eight fights. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, this, oh, hold on. You hear that? That's definitely just a mouth sound, right? Any other buttons like this? Oh. Kind of reminds me of, like, Minecraft sound effects, in a way. Alright. 
Did I, did I, what did I unlock? How do I see my unlocks? Ledger? Oh. Oh, these are just achievements, though. These didn't unlock anything. Unlocks a mode. Most recent, okay. Looks a hero. Did I unlock any of the red or blue heroes, though? Yeah, unlock, okay, hero colors, red, blue, okay. Are there more hero colors? Hold on. Orange, yellow, gray, red, blue, green. Green. An entirely new class from the previous version. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna put another normal one into this video and then we'll be done. I got time. I got time. What time is it right now? 2 p.m.? Yeah, no shit. Oh, finally. Finally, I'm back to form. I've got all my five. I've got my mages. I think it would be nice if Classic did, like, randomly throw you, like, some curveballs. Like, oh, no yellow, two orange. Or, like, oh, you have two mages instead of a healer or something like that. Because I did think um, that, that double yellow, double gray run was really fun. Uh, but I don't want to have to make the choice to go, like, consciously play, like, custom starting party. This is focus. Yeah, two times the first of the previous. So if I just hit the same guy twice, it'll do more damage. I finally have access to mana. Yeah, here we go. Mana me up. Mend is now two. Oh, so that's five. Okay, this used to cost a one and set it to three, which sucked. Um, it was almost never a positive action. Because, like, when is, like, the only, if it's, you don't, it's only useful if somebody's on one or two health. And you set them to three health. So it, it just sucked. It was just a, it was just a dead, like, spell slot. But this is good. Two for five is good. There was the other version that was, um, like, on a, on a higher tier character that was, uh, two mana, set a hero to six. So I wonder what that one looks like now. Maybe it's, like, eight. That would be nice, because that one also sucked. I also did not like it at all. Uh, so I'm gonna absorb the damage from fighter here. Probably use mana to keep, um... Yeah. Oh, alright, oh, no, I can just kill one of the rats. Gather changed as well. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They did not, it did not change. I'm just stupid. Um, so I can only hold three mana a turn. So if I try and, yeah, it'll say, you can only keep three mana. So I may as well use one of my spells here. I'm just going to burst the boar and move on. I'm back with the mana. This, this is my comfort zone. Uh, this is what I've been playing on for so long, but now... I mean, soon we're going to see tactics, right? Or whatever those are. Take this. This song's so chill. Uh, I'm probably just going to burst here. Uh, this will set it up so I can do any form of one damage and he'll die. Oh, or he could just run. Glacia, welcome back. Two damage weak and single cost. Oh, it's so... Wait, I... Oh! Oh! Okay, I thought this was the title of, like, it was just saying, like, hey, this is a random tier 2 level up. No, okay, so if I don't like these, I can, I can, this is such a gamble. <laughs> okay, Cleric, shield 1, cleanse, cleave, single coast. Cleric did not have a spell before. Um, this is really nice. Also, their sides were different. I don't remember what it is, though, so, whatever. I'll take Glacia. I really like Glacia. I think this um, weakened single coast is really strong. It, it gets you out of like a lot of... Uh, uh, I can't even remember the word I was thinking of. Two mana, that's Glacia's best roll. Healer dying would be annoying. Squire's already taking so much damage. If I do this, he's just going to die. So I'm looking for a different Squire shield. Oops. Did not find one that was useful. This will keep him alive for a little bit. I need two damage. And I just hope that um, I get a decent roll next time. Okay, two cleave attacks is good. Because if I chill one of these, it just like puts them in the dirt. Yeah, like if I just chill suddenly. Yeah, okay. Uh, Healer. I'll take this. I'll take the shield on... Squire. No, if, if Squire rolls this, this is better. Fighter sucks. I, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd roll everything here. Okay, this is good. It's in the shield too. Two damage is fine. I wish the thief had anything. <laughs> yeah, see, there's that. And then I just chill this wolf. 
No, I don't. Okay, hold on. Sequence is better. So I chill. Gray and red. Okay, so it should be this one. I chill this wolf. And then I just do this. It should be the other way around, right? Yeah. Oh, I can just kill it. Okay, well... Now nah, I feel stupid. It's fine. It doesn't matter. This is the early game. It doesn't matter enough. I'm just gonna run through the game. I know there's achievement for beating the game under a certain amount of turns, but that's more or less luck-based. Like, I just have to hit, like, a... Nice build with consistent rolls. Okay, this sucks. Um, I have a four heal here, so I don't need to waste the shields on this guy. I'd rather use the shields here. Hit this. I'll do two damage with it. I don't have a better spell other than burst right now, so I may as well just use it when I can. One damage. Don't care. Two mana. Perfect. No. This is the best damage turn I've ever seen. Two damage. One damage. Two damage. Poultice. Oh, look at that. It's, it's called Learn now, so it implies that it's a spell. That's nice. Bone Charge is... Bone Charm... Oh, whoops. Bone Charm is really nice. Um, It means that I can play Faust and Luth, Luce with, like, the Thief's health. I just let him die every time, and that's fine. A lot of um, uh, enemy skills, like, will have, like, target the weakest, so it'll target Thief, or it'll, like, it'll be the flank, so it'll hit the top and the bottom, which, again, will hit Thief. So Thief is kind of in, like, a risky spot. This is a lot of enemies. This is... The range is nice, because I can kill the archer. Okay, I'm just gonna use the weaken as a one damage. Uh, so I can just kill a rat. Yeah, uh, the weaken's not really doing anything for me right now, so I may as well just do that. Three damage, three damage, three damage. Don't care. Give me... mana. I really like mana builds. Um... It might just be my, like, uh, it's, it's like this, right? Yeah. It might just be, like, my Magic the Gathering talking, but I love uh, combo builds. I love seeing myself, like, charge mana, get, like, 20 mana, and then I just use one spell 20 times. That's really fun. I like seeing the big number go off. Mana. Very nice. This is two bursts. Yep. Um... Unfortunately, that's a really bad number of bursts. <laughs> One usable dice. Oh, gosh. Whatever will I do if I don't take two damage? Monk. Monk is good. Druid is good. Uh, I'm going to take Monk. I really like this ability. Troll. I don't have any poison, so I won't be able to negate the regen, but it shouldn't matter too much. I should just have enough damage. Uh, this is the monk's only damaging side. It does one damage to everything that's targeting whatever I use it on. So I can shield any of these three and it'll do one damage to them. That is fine. It does not matter too much. I'll take the weak in here. I'll take two damage. You just have mana. Nice. Okay. Go away. Go away. Die. Die. I'll save the mana. I have no reason to use it right now. Uh, it's better for me to use it in all in one go. So let me see regens less, right? I can use it to get over, like, a, a health boundary. This, again, looking for two mana here. Two damage is what I'm best I'm getting. This sucks. It's fine. Uh, again, I'll block on Monk. Two damage. I'll save my mana again. Okay, this is uh, a moment to use chill here. More mana, please. I'll take this. This is fine. That's two damage. Yeah, so I'll just do this. Do this. Chill. Bim, boom, burst. Yeah, that's why you save up your mana. If I did that earlier, it would not have worked. Heal three to the top and bottom allies. I don't care. I'd rather let Thief die. Give me a tier three item. Okay, it was a tier one item. That's fine. I'll put on Monk. Uh, yeah, just give him some more health. That's okay, I guess. Five shields. I don't think I can do that. I don't really have many, like... Oh, uh, oh okay. Hold on, I'm gonna test something. So if I use Monk... It's going to redirect the damage from Militia to Glacia. So now it's taking all the damage. Now if I shield it, does this... Ah! Neat. Okay. So if I just take this, I have enough damage to... Well, no, it's quote-unquote damage to kill Militia. Can I get five damage to take out a Goblin with three dice? If the Thief hits anything, yes. Uh, Not this, though. Dang. 
That's bad. Because now if I do this, like I was planning to before, Thief's gonna die. Wait, Thief has Bone Shark. I don't care. Go to hell. <laughs> I'll see you in uh, five minutes, buddy. Congrats, welcome back. Yeah, bone shard. Yeah, I should I should be playing around it more. I literally explained it earlier and I didn't use it. Replace blank sides with heal and shield too. I don't like disciple. I think it's kind of okay. Gambler is funny. Therefore, you and you're gonna die. Slate. I don't have multi hits this time, but I do have mana, so I can burst a bunch. Uh, this is good. I'll put the shield on them. No, I'll look for something better. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one damage was one damage. Let's see if I can kill the snake first. Ah, almost. Okay. Um, I'll chill the snake here, just so that means it doesn't uh, poison me at all. Take one damage on the slate. Okay, this is nice. Not really. I totally just lied. Would like to roll my higher damage sides. Yippee! Yaha! Uh, this is fine. Okay. I do wish you had anything else on you, but that's fine. You die. Two damage. One damage. You have one health. Run away. Goodbye. Item. Blood Chalice. Self-shield one for each wasted point of healing I receive. This is kind of weird, because I don't end up using healing much. Wrist Blade again? Dude, honestly, I'm just going to take Wrist Blade and put it straight on Gambler. <laughs> I think wrist blade's just amazing. Oh, five damage. Oh, wow. This is the best roll possible. This is every side that I would want. Incredible. You. Die on the spot. And then I kill you. And then uh, I don't need to chill you and I'll just burst. Maybe I should have saved my mana there just because there's no need. Um, but I wanted to get him down closer to... Because it's better if you kill him in one go. Oh, so close. I don't need this. I'd rather roll for Monk's damaging side. I don't need this. Two mana. Ah, uh, it's okay. One, two, one. Chill. You no longer do any damage. Oh, he does one damage because I go up past that threshold. The heal doesn't matter. Will he run? Nice. Soldier. Boring but good. Herbalist. Regen. I like this. Herbalist gives regen. Regen is uh, anti-poison. It's kind of nice. Okay, I don't have a cleanse. This sucks. Oh, this is a combo I was thinking of. Uh, uh is, is this is anybody being repeat targeted? Yeah, okay. Um, so multi-use, right? Uh, you use it twice. This is every time you use it, it goes up by one. So you put it on this, and then suddenly for the rest of the fight, this is a three. This is amazing. Now it's six damage. That's that's unbelievable. That's that's. That's great. Oh, and I have vines, so I can just kill this guy. Red. Bonk. No more weakness. That's huge. Weakness is really annoying to deal with in these fights. Okay, Gambler's gonna die. Herbalist does have a heal on regen as well. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna look for... Oh, wait. I have a, I have a cleanse. Huh. Cool. <laughs> okay, here's this weakness. I'm just gonna put an Agnes. So that means she doesn't summon a wolf at all. I thought it was going to hit the five. Okay, cleanse you, regen here. You don't do any damage. Bonk, bonk. Perfect. Amazing. Okay, I'm just going to kill Magret. No big deal. Here's this, here's this again. Double use is too strong of a keyword to be handing out this early. Uh, yeah, okay, I kill here. With Vine. Whoops. Okay, hold on. Think about this better. Shield one. And then... And then this. And then... Fine. There we go. Magic stuff. Set all mana gain sides to two. Really nice here. Um, Dynamo. Single use and arrow to the two right sides. I would get these two as like... Two big single use. That's kind of nice. But I'd rather have something more consistent. I have to wait like three turns for that to get going. Uh, okay. Glacier's taking a lot of damage. Let's really quick check. Okay, so you believe that, so I can just take these two sides and be done with that. Um, I'd like you to live. Why is he dying? 
Oh, this is new. <laughs> okay. Um. Wow, that's really annoying. That's fine. I'm gonna look for four damage and kill. Oh, hey, nice. Uh, growth. I'll put on this shield. It's kind of just nice to have. Okay, so I don't need to kill you. I say growth on the shield. Shield the monk. Monk takes up the damage from you. Five. Kill the imp. Fighter is no longer dying. Deal some damage to the fanatic. Move on with my day. Good redirect. Okay, sniper's targeting fighter because fighter's lowest health. Annoying. You, suck up the damage. Hey, here's that shield again. Wait, she's still living? Then I don't care about anything else. Okay, sure. Poison you. Take this. Shield you. Uh, hit. Hit. Burst. Burst. And then sniper will die. Cool. Brute and whirl. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. Oh. I like Gladiator more than those options, so that was a net positive for me. Gladiator just has uh, this, which is two damage engage. Um, four damage is a really important threshold to cross, because it one-shots bones, and it also one-shots zombies. So, like, whenever I'm looking for, like, a baseline of damage to hit, I'm always looking for four damage. Four damage is, is the amount. So I didn't hit it there. Oops, that's not right. I shield you. Do this. There we go. Um, this sucks. Uh, I'm just gonna... Wait, I'm just gonna burst the ghost. That means uh, it doesn't have an invulnerability anymore. Okay. Annoying little turn. I wish that didn't go so badly. This is... Yeah, this is why I hit the ghost. Because now I can kill him, and I don't have to deal with this. This is what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, don't need this. Honestly, it was a pretty good shield. Maybe I should have just taken it. This insta-kill the bones. Since it kills the ghost. Uh, gambler's being tar- Oh, this stuns the whiz. Oh. Look at the sequencing, and this kills you. Oh. Chill. Oh, wow. What a good turn. Perfect. I did not think it was gonna flow together like that. I'm gonna- Look at this. Aldrin? Okay, I'm sorry, bone shards. You can go on the turbo list. Where the other item just go? Oh, here it is. Yep. Look at this. Six damage. Unbelievable. Impeccable even. I set my microphone. Well, that's fine. So yeah, right here, I'm looking for that four damage threshold. Two mana items. Please hit. Please hit. No. Okay, that's fine. Um. Gray is being targeted by two people. Shield you. Two mana. I will chill this and then kill you on the spot. I don't need to use chill then. I can just kill you on the spot. My mistake. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have hit the zombie at all, actually. Because now, now I won't be able to hit the four damage engage. And I don't have a way to do four damage otherwise. Uh, I'm going to look for a little growth combo. Here it is. Now I have a way to do four damage. Look at this. Growth. One hit, two hits. Ta-da! That's so good. Who thought this was a good idea? Undeserved. Um, put it on this insta kill this guy, and just burst a small assignment. Uh, he'll probably run after this, right? Oh, okay. Three damage cleave. Hey, look, five damage. Next, dancer is too fun not to take, but it might be too bad to take. <laughs> Prophet. My friend in Discord has the name Prophet Spammer because uh, Prophet's his favorite thing. To be fair, it's pretty good. It's it's very good even. Some might even say it's it's ridiculous. Heal one to all allies regen. Um, as long as you keep giving them health and then you just heal one to all allies, they just have infinite health and infinite regen. Where's the downside? <laughs> you just you just get them so large you can't kill them. Here's that four damage. Insticular bones. Bam. Take this. Five health. Two mana. One. I'm going to chill, so that means we don't get poisoned. That, I think that's probably worth it. And I will just do one damage to the rod. I'm assuming I'll be able to one-shot this bones with the two with the four damage again later. So I'm hoping that I don't have to set it up. There's that poison again. Uh, would be nice if I didn't get killed by that. Uh, here's this. Here's the cleanse for the poison. 
I'll take four damage. Uh, so you can pre-cleanse. So like right here, this gladiator is one poison. Now he's taking zero poison. So you can pre-cleanse like before the poison actually finishes, which is really nice. This, I have mana for a burst. I will just burst this. That's worth it. Now there's no bones for a little bit. Uh, Rotten also has a, yeah, minus one max HP at the end of each turn, minimum one. So like over time, this fight will just get harder. Uh, but not hard enough. Now that he has no bones, I can just beat him to death. Uh, okay, these all suck, but that's fine. Yeah, don't even need to use this fight. I just punch him until he dies. Oh, there's the poison. Don't care. Look how much health Monk has. Like, he's... I'm gaining health a lot faster than he can remove my health. Yeah, but there you go. Okay, it's funny. I'm just gonna keep putting it on one guy. Two, two, and a two, two. One health, run away. I like making the bosses run. It feels like uh, BM. Add cantrip to all sides with exactly one pips. This is a new item. Do I have many characters with exactly one pips? This is very good, actually. Oh, oh wait, watch this. Okay, so add cantrip to all sides with one pips. Here you go, and then magic stuff it. Oh, sequencing. Ho, ho, this dice is amazing. Ho, I will never lock Glacia again. I'm, I'm mana engineering right now. I'm about to soothe so hard. Boom, there's that weaken. That's not what I wanted to do actually, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, I w it would be nice if he rolled something. Okay, that's the only non-cantrip side. Thanks. Oh, uh, do. Suck up the damage from here. Give him five more health. Almost kill Gambler on Spiker, but it's fine because it's a lot of damage. Here's that shot. Don't care. Acceptable. Here's that two mana. Oh, here we go. Give me it again. Hell yeah. Give me it again. Do it again. I'm gambling. Give me it again. Hell yeah. Uh, Keep Gambler like Mana Storm. Ten mana. Oh, there's an achievement for uh 100 mana as well. Look at this, I'm just gonna soothe. And now I cannot die. Kill you. Look at that health, look at that healing. How, how do I die here? Two mana. Oh, whoops. Show it to me again. Five damage, that's fine, I'll take that. Show it to me again. Okay, that was just the normal two mana. First, five damage. Nice and simple. Weaver. This would lose my cantrip <laughs> combo. I'm kind of sad about. I'd rather take stalwart. And I may as well give... Uh, I guess I'll give gladiator one health. I want to spread out the health, so that means uh, soothe does the most work possible. Basilisks. Kind of stinky. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll take two mana. I'll take two mana. I'll take two mana. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll just... 5 damage exert on here. Uh, kill him on the spot. And then, I'll put a Soothe down. No, I'm just gonna make it so you do no damage. Stalwart's exerted, doesn't matter, he's petrified anyways. 2 mana. 2 mana. 2 mana! No! Alright. Uh, yeah, this is not a damage side I care about. Now I'll soothe, and I'll burst once. Yeah, Basilisk, I'm probably just going to take out the spells. Not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, everybody's two full health already. Oh, two mana. This is a normal two mana. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. Soothe. Burst. I'm on the cycle right now. How much regen am I at? Two regen, okay. Yeah, couldn't even kill this anymore. It's game over for these fools. Give me some more damage, jeez. Oh, sheesh, man. Because this is going to just get stunned after I hit this. Man, okay. Well, I guess he's running away. I have more health. I wonder if you could... Oh, one pip to all sides with no keywords. No. Add charged and single use to the top and bottom. Okay. Okay, so. 
Okay, so I'm just going to hope that I roll this a bunch. I get like six, and then I use this, and it gives me like eight mana. Because it's charged. So charged adds equivalent to how much mana you have. And if you get it on like a mana gain item, well, hopefully I'll just see it right here. Uh, okay, I need to overkill something by two. That'll be kind of annoying to do. I'll wait on it. I'll probably, I'll probably try and get it on Bandit. Which means that I need to just do two damage to Bandit first. Okay, yeah, right here. Boom, six mana. Look at this mana. Oh my god. And now I can kind of just do whatever I want. One I'm just going to kill this, like, flat. And then I will... This is real slice and dice gameplay. Look at that. Look at that turn. This is the power of charged. I think charged is really fun. Again, I just like mana builds. I like seeing my little number go up. Hit it again. Hit it again. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, that's enough to kill you. Is there a way I can overkill there? No, there's not. No options. Nice dice. Draw, throw, roll your last pathetic dice. Uh, just two bursts will do it. Nice. Veteran. This would have been nice for the no keywords thing. Um, Gambler's like, it's just in a good spot right now, I feel like. I'd rather just go Veteran and just take him as like a the basic ghost character. Like the, the just the double uses on Gambler are just just very good. Like I'll just take this for Slate. I'll take this. Uh, I don't need to take the two mana. I almost forgot. I'll take this absolutely. I will still use this because it still does just give me yeah ten mana. And then I'll just soothe twice and uh, prepare for the future. Make it so I will not take any damage ever. Look at that! All my characters are still full health. Soothe. Prophet Spammer. I, 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 I was wrong. I should have trusted him. Oh, here we go again. Come on. Five damage, four damage. Hit. Oh, I hit two, six straight. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I even got that ever on my other account. Here's this. Soothe, soothe, soothe. Okay, that's definitely not the right move. <laughs> uh, I just killed Troll King. And then I kill you. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. I want to see all the full the full healths. Run away. Singularity, plus two pips to the right sides. Oh. No, these all suck. I don't have any. Replace blank sides with plus three mana. There's no one on there. Singul singularity. It could work here. It would make these into... That's like the same average. Give me something else. Add cleave to the middle. This is good. Um, I wish I could put it on... Like, I wish this was good. But I think I need more damage, so... Four damage cleave is good enough for me. Good enough. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, come on. Give me, give me, give me the full. I haven't seen the full one yet. Like I haven't hit I haven't hit maximum possible amount of mana in one turn. Oh, and I won't I won't see it ever. Five damage, five damage. One, two, three. Block here. Chill you, no poison. Burst. Wow. Mana build. Mana build. Take another four damage. This will just be to kill the front uh, kill this. Uh this should just be good enough, right? I said, oh, this is so funny. Again, I just think this build might just be better, though. Like, <laughs> I think here I definitely take Fencer, though. Because now I can, um, yeah, this is, this is better. It's essentially the same dice, but now it's a four, four damage twice at the top, and there's a pristine one on the side. Hey, here's the pristine. Um, show me it. Yes. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Nice. There we go. 16. This is the... Oh, 18. Oh, yeah, because I got the two more here. 
This is the highest amount of mana I can get. Boom, boom. One, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. What a turn. <laughs> imagine if I had a spell that did something that wasn't just burst. That would be, imagine if I didn't have Glacier, but like, I have Glacier, so... Glacia's currently funding my run. She's she's my money maker. Do this. And then just come here. Silk cape. Copy the left side onto the rest of the sides. So funny. So funny. So funny. Second heart. Whoa. So funny. So funny. I wish I could copy the cleave, but that's fine. <laughs> Five damage. Okay, so Hydras die instantly if I deal five damage to them in one turn. Uh, not five damage, sorry. Five instances of damage to them in one turn. That's really easy, because I'm about to get one billion mana. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Alpha Strike, one on the first turn? Yes. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Cantrip to all sides. I just hit it. I just hit it better, and Inspire is better. This is this is so good. This is amazing. I do wish the Perma Boost wasn't Cantrip because then I don't get to choose what it's on. But that's fine. Two. Take this. Pristine as well. Two mana. Do it again. Two mana. Okay. Two mana. Big. Shield. Damage. Damage. One. Uh, what do I do here? Inspire this. Do it again. One, two. Two soothes. Heal up. Boom. Okay, I hope that's not on... Okay, it's on veteran. Is it heavy? Is this normally heavy? Okay, it's heavy, yeah. Okay, that's nice. Another mana side. Here we go. Pristine again. Here we go. Give it to me. Perma boost. It was on Stalwart. That sucks. I'll take the shield then. More mana. More mana. More mana. Shield. Shield. Pristine. Do it again. Boom. 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 Easiest boss fight of my life. <laughs> hey, I hit speedrun. Easiest boss fight of my life. <laughs> okay. I don't see what I would submit a high score here. Yeah, this is that's what I thought. These are already insane. It's, I would, this would put me, oh, wait, you know what? Game's still new. I'm like top 20. Oh, speed run, classic normal. Hell yeah. All right, that's Slice and Dice. I'll probably be back with more of this. I find it so much fun. Uh, and it's very easy for me to record compared to like League, I guess. Anyways. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to end these.